my name is Eunice and I'm here at Close Show TV in Birmingham at the NEC and I'm joined with Joseph Wheeler. Joseph. Hello. Tell me how it feels being at the Close Show today. Uh, it's cool. I've um, had a chance to have a look around. There's a lot of uh, interesting things around. <laughs> is it your first time here? Yeah, it's the first time I've been to a Close Show in my life, to be honest. And uh, I'm enjoying it. I've had a great day. And obviously I've been watching you yeah. over the you know time on the X Factor. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, how is that whole experience? Um, it's a it's a tough experience, you know. I think anyone who's been the X Factor would say that. But um, it's been an enjoyable one. I've met some great people, met some really good friends, and people know who I am. Who, 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 who I am. People know who I am now. So it's uh, I know it's cool. It's done me a lot of good. So I'm thankful for that. So you've come quite close to actually getting onto the live show. Why do you think that you've not? Quite cracked nah, it yet. I'm too rock and roll, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm too rock for him, I don't know. So um, too cool. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say too cool, I'm definitely not cool. <laughs> Hence, no, no um, I think because I sing like heavy rock music, I don't know if um, they sort of understood where I was coming from, I don't know. Maybe it was um, my choice of music or choice of song, I'm not sure. But to be honest, um, I'm happy like kind of doing my own thing now, you know. Mm -hmm. so, but it's, just, it's been a good platform for me to get my name out there. So. And what have you been working on? What have you got coming up next? Well, I've got an album out at the moment. Uh, it's called The Contrast. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been touring with my band. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done tour of, we've done Europe and uh, we've done the UK. So I'm just going to keep getting out there and playing as many gigs as possible. What do you think have been the sort of highs and lows of the experience in general? Oh, the lows definitely. It was um, an 11, 11 hour flight back from LA with my uh, towel between my legs, you know. Oh, yeah. Obviously, no, I was going home. But I think. Um, in some respects, it was kind of a relief because it's such a stressful time. I think, um, you know, it's kind of now a defini definitive answer because all the time you're in the X Factor, you're kind of hanging in the balance, you know, am I going to get through am or not? You know, do people like me or not? So, I don't know, it's, it's an enjoyable experience. At the same time, it's quite stressful, so the highs and lows are all out of the place. What sort of advice would you give to somebody that was trying to get into music in general? Um, oh, well, my advice would just be to be original. I think um, I think being original is more valuable than being. I don't know. Try, a lot of people try too hard to Im imitate something that's already out there, and if mm. it's already out there, there's no there's, there's no need for you to do it. You know. So I mean, like for me, I try to rock rock music for me. At the minute, there's nothing out there that's current. You know. So I'm mm. that's why I'm trying to bring something forward in that respect. I'd never try and be the next like Justin Timberlake or something because I just ain't got it, <laughs> and I can't dance. Are you quite good at that? No, I can't dance. Are you sure? I'm terrible. Are you sure? Don't ask me to show it because it's bad. <laughs> I don't know, I want to uh, see a bit of you. do two step? What's a two step? I don't know what a two step is. No, what's a two step? I don't even know if I've got can time show to show you a two step. Do you really want me to show you? I'd like a two to, step. Yeah. Alright, yeah. I'll show you the two <laughs> step. Right, there's two different ways of doing it, yeah? Oh, come on. You can either do it with you, you, you hit, your heel is like this, yeah. your toe is like this. Okay. And you're kind of like spinning. So you're going like that. Do you see what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? I can sort of know what you're doing. Yeah, I feel like I'm just doing it. Yeah, or you can do it like this as well. Which is like the little Oh, kind of okay. that's one. like a crip walk in it, that It's like crip walk, yeah. I can't, I can't do that, yeah. no. See, no, it's, no, that was good. It's all right, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got rhythm. It looks good, I, I like can, it. I'm more like to do the... Uh, that looks like a bit Irish. Swedish dancing or Swedish German dancing. Swedish dancing. That's about as much as I can do. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, so, that's why, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. I think it's really good. Cool. Um, I suppose the other thing I wanted to ask you is, in terms of like doing X Factor, yeah. is there a big difference between that and performing on real life shows? Oh yeah, massively. I think um, I never, personally, I never given uh, a true performance for myself when I was on X Factor because I was thinking too much about what the result was going to be mm -hmm. rather than actually enjoying myself and, mm -hmm. and doing, doing the show. But I mean, when I go out and do a normal show, I just get out there, enjoy it, rock out, and it's just such a different vibe. It's more relaxed and more natural. So there's a big difference, definitely. Well, thank you so much for being with us cool. today in Birmingham at the ANEC. Awesome. Thank you so much. We have been on Close Show TV. And don't forget to leave your comments and everything below. Thank you so much.